Hey guys, what's up? This is Daryl. Welcome to another episode of the Bitcoin Earnings Channel. So today what we're going to be talking about is setting up a VPS on the system called Volter. So here we have select a new VPS, clicking on the nearest uh, location, and we're going to select Ubuntu. And we're going to select the $5 um, selection, which will give us one uh, gigabyte of RAM. And next we'll need to actually add our key so that we can log in. Um, I've added my uh, key already. So this is just a demonstration of how to add your own key. And this will again allow you to SSH in without needing a password. Just be root at whatever the IP address is. And uh, here we have like any kind of label that we want for our system. I've just named it Profit Trailer because that's all I'll be using this uh, VPS for. And then we just click Deploy Now. It'll be successfully added. We'll need to wait for a while. Um, and uh, once it's installed, we'll be ready to install the other stuff. So this is um, viewing the the progress on the console uh, so we can see when it's done and here we are logging in to our system uh, it will actually tell us the IP address as you can see there on the, on the left IP address whatever and then we can use root SSH from our computer to root at that address to get in and so here we are we're making a directory called PT in the slash var alt directory and uh, all these instructions, by the way, will be um, given in the link down below. Uh, we're now in, we're going to in install the default JDK, so that's the uh, Java development kit. And next we're going to be installing Node. And the reason why we install Node is we want to use a uh, system that will run it in the background as like a daemon type thing so this is what we're doing now npm install mars g pm2 that's the way we can run our the, the different things in the background both profit trailer itself and also the feeder which i'll also be going into so here we are we're grabbing hold of the latest version of profit trailer and what i always do is i will create a directory with the latest version of Profit Trailer. So I always know what version of Profit Trailer I'm actually running on my server. Um, and all the rest I'll just archive for other for later use. But essentially, you know, every time a new version of Profit Trailer comes in, I'll just create a new directory with that name of the latest Profit Trailer. But obviously, you know, you can run things yourself. So I've unzipped, I've installed unzip and I'm unzipping to that directory. Uh, next I'm editing my application properties and setting up a few different things there. And finally I'm then running it and you can see it running in the background. Um, we should be able to then just log to see if it's running properly. So application properties is where we want to actually um, set up things like the telegraph thing, the actual port which we want to run it off. Um, if you just run run on, on port 80, it will, it will be easy to get it to it from a, a web a web page. Um, that's the easiest way, but yeah, you can run it on any port you want. And so now we're going to take some time to install Profit Trailer Feeder if you've bought that. And we want to uh, follow the directions that Microsoft has for installing the .NET Core 2.1 uh, version. And, um, so a description of that will also be in the, in the notes below. And once you've installed all the dependencies for .NET, so the .NET Core, We'll be able to download Profit Trailer Feeder itself. Uh, again, we can unzip it because we installed unzip earlier.
And application settings is really, uh, we can have a look through here to, to see all the basic uh, applications set up, like what uh, pairs that we want and so on. Uh, it's the host settings, however, that are really the important ones. Um, if we have a look at host settings, we can see things like where are the um, Binance or Poloniax uh, trader directory is. And that just points to the trader directory in our profit trailer um, setup that we installed earlier. And again, we can use PM2 to start the um, profit trailer feeder JSON in a similar way that we, in, we ran the, uh, the profit trailer itself. And once you've got it all running, you should be able to see the status of both of them online. I haven't conf con uh, completely configured this yet, but when you've got a chance to, um, have a look at the wiki for a profit trailer and make sure you follow that with the application settings to ensure that you set everything up correctly for your server, including uh, things like the uh, keys and that kind of thing. Um, there'll be more. There's more information about installing Profit Trailer that Crypto Gnome has put together. So you might want to have a look at those videos on how to actually set up Profit Trailer with the application settings in more detail. And that's that's it for now. Bye.